Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time I showed you how to set up a simple material with three layers uh, for the landscape and how to draw each layers as we need on the landscape. So this time I am going to show you how to add another layer which can paint automatically the landscape with different layers or colors based on the slope of the uh, landscape so it is like this so I'll sculpt the landscape we got here and as you can see it can automatically color the landscape based on the slope so like this so this top one can consider as the grass layer and this one can as something like soil and this middle one as rock surface all right so also sometimes we have to have the ability to draw custom layers even on top of this steep layers steep surfaces that means we need to have grass even on top of this steep surface so that means uh, we should be able to paint any material layer we need on top of this automatic material like this so we can also do that with our material okay so I am going to show you how to implement this material now so like this we can paint all over even if with one color or we can take this automatic layer and paint all over it will paint with the relevant colors like this okay so now I will show you how to do this okay so this is our previous project and as you can see we have only three layers here so I'll open my landscape material and I'll define another material node here another layer here and I'll put this into the first place okay right and I'll call this one this layer as auto and I'll set the preview weight to 1 so this will be the default layer we would get and next in Unreal Material System there is a node called world align blending World aligned blend. So we can use this node to get the gets a blending value based on the slope of the landscape. So I'll use this uh, vertex normals output because this one only considers the normal we can we get from the vertices, and this one also take into account the normal map as well, but in our current implementation we do not have any normal maps just colors so I will use this one and material attribute blend material attributes so with this node we can blend two material attributes based on this alpha value so for the first input I'll plug this one that means L1 and for the second output input I will plug this one and I'll plug the output of this one into this auto material auto layer so also also I will define another two parameters like this promote parameter blend sharpness I will call this L1 blends sharpness and I'll promote the, this one to a parameter as well I'll call this 
L1 blend bias. With these two parameters, we can control the blending and the slope. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So I'll set this uh, default sharpness into something like 5 and I'll quickly apply this. And I'll open my material instance. Okay, so here we can quickly change these values and see what happens. So here we have brown on top and green on the down. So if I change this value, you can see the what happens here. So this, if I increase this blend sharpness, we can get a sharp edge between two layers like this okay so i'll keep it like this for now and i'll go back to my material and uh, i'll duplicate this whole setup to be used with this third layer like this control W and duplicate and I'll name this one into a two blend sharpness you can put any name you want and L2 blend bias right and I'll plug the output of this one into here and this one into here and the output of this one into here okay so let's go back to our material instance and see what happens by changing the parameters okay so here also you can see it but to have a clear picture let's go here all right compiling done I'll enable these parameters and I'll change this color into something more noticeable like blue okay and this one be like red which is more noticeable right and i'll all right so i'll increase the blend sharpness of this one like this and i'll make it move like this okay so we have three layers Based, blended based on the slope of the surface right so let's go back to our landscape and now we have this auto material layer as well so I'll add the weight blended layer for this one as well and let's uh, I'll paint this set this into one and I'll paint this all over the world so so it started to compile okay it's done compiling so yeah so when I paint this auto material this is what I get so I'll open this material instance here so that we, uh, the change is visible and I'll change the colors like this so this is uh, this top material this is the flat area of the ground so in the flat area we normally see grass so I will change the color of this layer into green like this okay like it's green and this middle area uh, this is like the okay let's change this uh, let's middle middle area is like the soil so I'll make it something like this 
and the next layer the more steep slope I'll assume it should be something like a rocky surface so I'll make it okay what I'll make it uh, oh, I selected the wrong one again I'll make this one black that means it's a uh, rock black or more dark brown like this this one is better okay right so now let's play with these parameters so I'll limit the green area only into this top part we can do that with this uh, blend bias uh, this one this one like here okay so we get more of the area with the soil only the most flat areas are populated with grass and this one I can change the amount of area where the soil is populated I'll make it grass a little more and soil area a little less okay so this is better but uh, still these colors don't look nice let's change that okay no okay I like this color this is rocky surface and this one into more light yellow right also we can change this blend sharpness so that we get instead of this uh, sharp edge we get some smooth edge like this like this okay now it's uh, enough with parameters now let's sculpt this landscape a little bit to see the effect I'll make this a little smaller and sculpt okay so we get the effect so it automatically paint our landscape and I'll flatten this area a little bit okay so we get the effect right also let's try overriding this auto material auto or automatic layer with another layer okay that also works let's try this one as well okay so we can paint it like as I explained at the beginning so right so thank you everyone that's all for today and I hope to write another blog post which explains uh, more about uh, the things like this world aligned blend and other stuff we didn't discuss in detail in the video and I'll post the link to that blog article once it is done in the description below and the next time I will show you how to do a layer blending of the material based on the height of the landscape and okay and if you have any questions please uh, ask in the comment section and goodbye